back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making pumpkin spice whipped cream. But before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. Alright, let's get started. So for this recipe, all you're going to need is some powdered sugar, of course, some heavy whipping cream, some vanilla extract, and a pumpkin spice blend. Now, if you don't have pumpkin spice blend, you can make your own. You can use cinnamon, you can use nutmeg, you can use whatever floats your boat, and then all we're going to need is a, a hand mixer. So, it's literally it. You can use this on top of your pumpkin pie, which if you haven't seen my video already, make sure to go check that one out. You can use it on top of any other pie. You can use it on top of cake, on top of, I don't know, fruit, oatmeal, but today we're going to be using this on some of our waffles. So we're going to have some pumpkin pie whipped cream with our waffle with some pecans, pecans, whatever you want to call them, and drizzled with some honey because I don't like syrup. So without further ado, let's get started. So all you're going to need is a bowl. Now, there's no necessarily rhyme or reason to this. I'm going to give you exactly the measurements down below in the description box, but I'm just going to wing it here. Now you're going to use some powdered sugar. Let's do some of our pumpkin spice blend. Okay. Now, some vanilla. And our heavy whipping cream. Now, I probably should have used a bigger bowl, but it's fine. So now you're just going to whip this up until it becomes like a real thick consistency and it's no longer liquid. It smells so good. You should have something that looks, where are you guys, like this. See, nothing's spilling, it's no longer liquid. It's super, super easy. Now you can make any kind of flavor of whipped cream that you'd like. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you guys, but this is just the flavor that we're gonna use for this week to keep with our Thanksgiving and pumpkin-y kind of theme this week. So, I'm just going to pop a waffle in the toaster and then I'll be right back. Okay, so our waffle is out of the toaster. Now I'm just gonna grab some of the whipped cream. I'm gonna make little kind of circular scoops. Now you are going to wanna make sure that your heavy cream has obviously been chilled and sitting in the fridge before you start whipping it up. And you can just store this in the fridge when you're done and it's gonna fill up even more. But okay, so we have that. I'm just going to sprinkle some chopped pecans on top. And then we're just gonna drizzle with some honey. It looks good. Stab, this is gourmet. <laughs> now you should have something that looks like this. How good does that look? Okay, so now it's time to try some. So let's get, I mean, let's get a load of like the whipped cream in there because that's the point of this video, right? So, so good, you guys. Just the right consistency, the right amount of sweetness. You definitely have all those nice spices in there, and it really pairs nicely with that vanilla extract. So if you haven't tried this already, make sure you do, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's definitely a nice way to spice up your typical plain old whipped cream. But that's all I have for this video, you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. If you did like it, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. If you want to get your exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes just like this one, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.